moron. Putts! There's nothing much to do in Wabasha. Still, we're a happy crew in Wabasha. We've learned to lift tons of snow. And blizzards in July don't slow us down. It's fun here fishing on ice. Cheerful and jackass jerk in Wabasha, our friendly town. Knock, 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 knock. It's opportunity. It's an uh, opportunity, Okay, here we are. We've made it. We made it. We're cuddling before the show. It's we our made. first night with an audience. And first our, night. And my softball. We're a little um, sore. A well, lot it's because we. Yeah. There are bags under my eyes. Bags under bags my under eyes. Bags under my... <laughs> I can't use any of this footage. Yes, you can. Okay. Oh, we just kind of cut out. Hello? <laughs> John, get in here. <laughs> Wait, <laughs> this angle is... <laughs> I think this is better. See you on stage. Bye! What do you like to do before the show to get ready? Um... <laughs> I like to warm up my voice and warm up my body, and sometimes that does include a little twerking to Hercules. Are you ready? Yeah. <laughs> as ready as I'll ever be. As ready as I'll ever be. Welcome to Gossip with the Grumps. We're with Kathy Rigby. Tell us, what got you into theater? Well, after I stopped gymnastics. And she was an Olympic gymnast, folks. Write that down. When you retire at 19, you have to figure out what else you're going to do with your life. Yeah. So I didn't know what I was going to do, but I knew I wanted to get married and have lots of kids and all of that. And I did. And I was also working for ABC Wide World of Sports, so I did commentary for 18 years for gymnastics. But then, then I just, somebody said to me, why don't, if you like to be in this business, study um, voice and acting. And I went, okay. Because I didn't, I have anything else I was doing, except having kids and working for the ABC Sports. So I, I started taking voice lessons and studied for seven years. And then my, my teacher said, okay, it's time to get out from behind the piano and quit practicing so much and get out there. And do something. Yeah. So I auditioned for Dorothy and the Wizard of Oz. And I met my love of my life and that's my <gasps> Mr. Tom that. McCoy oh, Tom, yeah I've heard of yeah, him yeah he, oh, he just I just it was for the first time I went I love you <laughs> and I was like I was a god I just was like whoa and speaking of the prince charming himself is this your dressing room? no yeah, but we're doing yes. the interview this She's is the love in. of my this life this is our yeah, boss Mr. Tom McCoy Thomas you were just brought up we were, just we were talking up. about I, how much we I love you there's a lot of love in this room <laughs> and I love him the most oh, oh see there's scoop guys you heard it here first here we are you have a Tony nomination yeah. Can we talk about that elephant in the room? Of course. Well, now, what no, was it for, great. and why didn't you win? Well, because first of all, I was who do we need to go? Uh, yeah, who, who do we need to go find? To talk to the people at Miss Saigon. Uh, uh, what is your favorite part of the show? Playing Punky. Oh, um, I love the show, and I love you guys. It is a great cast. It's such fun show, and you guys rock. Your harmonies and your you're just fun. Oh, fun, hey, fun, fun, fun show, and um, I'm so honored to be in the cast with you guys. All We're of you. honored oh, to be with you. Oh, yeah. Thank you, so much. Thank you oh, for joining you. our vlog. Oh! Uh -huh.